How are you guys doing? Hope everything's going good with you, everybody. This one's called How to Boost a New Watch Channel into Quick Stardom in the Most Phony Ways. Well, there's quite a few ways to do that. I'm going to go through some ideas. If I leave any out, you guys can add them in the comment section. Or you can expand on them in the comment section too. Because I think a lot of you guys can figure a lot of these out anyway. Well, if you have a new watch channel, and you want to get boosted right into stardom, well, you need some high-end luxury watches. And if you don't know really what to get, well, just get some Rolex. A lot of people like Rolex, and they identify with the brand good. And get the most desired and hardest to get watches. The ones that everybody wants but can't get. They'll be really impressed when you come on the camera with your hard to get watch. And you need to put on a high end luxury lifestyle. A very high end lifestyle. So that would include in your videos beaches, exotic locations, mountains, castles. Go on the beach with your video, with your watches, and make sure you get women on their G-strings and maybe no tops like from behind, you know. Those kind of shots need lots of them. Maybe gathered around you going, ooh, ah, on your watch, right? And you need some premium wine and whiskey and beer. Like maybe you could sit in a castle and you're drinking some premium wine right from the cellars of the castle and talking about your luxury high-end watch and people are very, very impressed with you and talk about some premium food and premium hotels and exotic cars like driving an exotic car along the mountainside and the good camera work right on you and the wind blowing through your hair and around your sunglasses talking about your premium luxury watches and make sure in your videos that you tell stories that complement the high-end lifestyle. You know, like you could talk about how you hung out with so-and-so. You'd say, well, last week I was out in the mountaintop and I ran into that famous mountain climber. We sat down, we talked about our watches for half an hour. It was starting to get cold, so we skied down the hill together. That sounds good. And pretend to be richer than you are. That's very important. You know, you can throw an accent on. Like, study how rich people talk. Like the richest people in the world. Study how they talk. Aristocratic speaking, you know. And speak with that fake accent that they have. You're really going to have to develop it. And get some fashion people to pick out your outfit, shoes, hair, etc. Fashion people that really know, like it could be... An expert in men's fashion and get them people to those people because you got to speak real well now those people not them their people those people to pick out your outfits what's really trendy what makes you look like a trendy guy what makes you look like a playboy or or an adventuresome man and they'll pick out the proper outfits and shoes and how to wear your hair and etc you may want some high-end adventure clothes and make it look like you've been through the jungles of Africa and through the Amazon. Look at your clothes. Just look like you've been right through there. And people will see that and be very impressed. You could say, well, last week I went on a big safari. Um, this lion tore my shirt here a little bit, but I'm still wearing it because it looks like a prize trophy shirt to wear. But you got to say that in your fake accent. Okay. So, and another thing is to pay some established watch channels to boost you and include you in everything special. So you got to pay out some very established watch channels and they have to be willing to work with you, right? So they'll include you in live shows, special holiday videos, any events, it could be any events that they put on, you're right included, and you may have to buy some expensive watches from them or their click or inner circle. So, like these 
established watch channels, if you're going to be included with them, you're going to have to pay them. They're, these guys don't work for free. So you're going to have to be buying some expensive watches. You're going to have to kind of do what they want, right? So, but they're going to boost you. They're going to say how great you are. They're going to get you on the live show and joke around with you. You can talk about, oh yes, I climbed the highest mountains. I rafted down the roughest streams. And this watch, it survived it all, you guys. And I'm really here to testify about it. You know, like that sort of thing. Now another thing is to pay some computer and camera experts to help you make the most expensive looking videos with the best lighting, editing, etc. Because if you're going to show yourself like on a safari or on top of a mountaintop or on a beach like full of G-strings, you're going to have to have a very good cameraman to help you to get the best shots, to make you look like you're with these people when you're not. And to get the sound right, like you can hear the girls squealing when you're walking by and the people cheering when you wave your hand with your watch, you know. Like there could be a bunch of guys drinking premium alcohol and you're walking on the beach and they're all kind of gathered around a campfire and you wave at them with your high-end premium watch and the guys are going, yeah, right on, man. We love you. We recognize you right on. You see, you got to include that in your videos. Make yourself look very rich, very popular. Um... Like a celebrity, right? Now, once you get your videos published, put on YouTube, pretend that you love all your viewers like they are old friends from the bar. So just think about talking to your friends at the bar. And you can say, well, hi guys, I, I love you all. Oh, I just missed seeing you the last time, so glad to see you again. I'll just tell you what's been going on since the last video. Oh, I, I went all around the world and one of my friends I ran into, he took me in his private jet. Um, we went wind sailing. It's been a great time. But I missed you guys the whole time. And I thought about you the whole time. And I'm back here to be talking to you. I'm so glad to see you again. That sort of thing, right? Now, it's very important, too, to buy subscribers to look like a winner. Because if you go on there, you want to look like you're very successful. So, People like winners, right? So you're presenting yourself as a big winner, but you have to look like it too. And buy as many subscribers as you can possibly get. And a lot of people look, oh, look at this channel. Well, he's got X amount of subscribers. He must be very, very popular, very good, very knowledgeable about watches. So I'll subscribe to him because everybody else is. And they must also know that he's good. So I'll know that he's good too by following that everybody else is subscribing to him. So I'll subscribe to him too. So you see how it works. It'd be like if you go to a rock concert and there's nobody in the seats, you're going to think, well, this band must not be very good. Nobody showed up. But if the seats are right full of people, you're going to think, hmm, this must be a really good band. I don't know too much about them, but it must be a really good band because the seats are just packed full. But you see, those kind of promoters, they make sure they fill the seats because they put tickets on sale at the last minute to fill the seats, right? Okay, and in your comment sections, you love everybody in the comment sections, but make sure you hire some shills to put in some good comments about you. So you get some shills in there, or you can make them yourself if you have the time, because you're going to be a busy guy going all around the world, but if you got some shills, you can put them in there. They say, oh, that's an awesome video, best video I've seen all day, best video I've seen all week. Oh, I love this video, I love every camera shot. Oh, I love those girls in the G-strings on the beach. Oh, I wish I could be on that beach. It was so great with those girls. Those kind of comments is what you want because it gets people worked up. Positive, loving comments gets people in that kind of frame of mind where they want to comment too, right? And they say, oh, everybody loves this channel. They love the watch. They love the scenes. They love the lifestyle. Hmm. See, that's going to really work for you. So, see what you're selling is a lifestyle. Not so much the watch, but a lifestyle. Now, you try to appeal to all types of people, because there's going to be all kinds of viewers. You try to appeal to them all. The poor people, they want to live their life through you, right? So you provide that to the poor people. And you make sure you include all people's preferences, because there are some guys 
who just want to hang around with other guys. Like, they're not so much interested in women and G-strings on the beach. But you include them too, right? You don't, you don't leave anybody out. There might be some women that you appeal to on your channel that only want to hang around with women. But make sure you include everybody. Don't don't leave anybody out. So try your best to include everybody in it. Like you could say, oh, I was just hanging around with all my guy friends. We're having a great time. We all just hung around with the guy friends in the big man cave. And we're all comparing our watches. We're drinking premium wine. And it was such a nice time. And I wish you guys were there. I was thinking about you guys the whole time. That sort of thing, right? Or you could say, um, there was a girls only party and I was invited to it because they wanted to see my watches. See? You gotta include everybody. It's very important. And another thing, once you get more and more popular, you will have undisclosed sponsor reviews. So people will want your watches on your channel, their watches on your channel, so you can boost them and advertise them and they'll pay you, provide you with free watches. And there'll be watch dealers who will want to lend watches to you to show on your channel. So that'll get to that stage pretty quick. And once you really get established with all your cool stuff, you can start your channel boosting business where you can boost new channels and get paid for it. You can boost watch dealers and get paid for it, rewarded and gifted. And watch brands and get paid, lent watches, given watches, paid. And you'll be very successful. I may have left anything out, but you guys can include it. And that pretty much is some of the basic ideas. How to boost a new watch channel into quick stardom in the most phony ways. So all you have to do is follow this basic outline and add some of your own things too and take some other ideas and you too will have a star watch channel so thank you very much you guys and i hope to talk to you again soon